Well, it was a really good day for Rory McIlroy until the very last hole. Let's walk you through this round a bit, starting at the sixth. Can you say somebody's had a vintage round when they're in their 20s? I don't know if you can or not, but I'm going to say it anyway. Because you just this was did. You just did. vintage Rory from when he was clicking off major championship wins. Bit off a big chunk at the par 5, sixth off the tee, and a beautiful iron shot from 241 and a two putt birdie. At two under there, now at the seventh for birdie from 11 feet. After a wonderful approach shot, knocks that down to move three under. And David, on to the eighth, this from 162 yards on approach. Just a gorgeous golf swing here. Often it way up in the air, moving it ever so slightly from right to left. Stick it underneath the hole. Very little break up the slope there, seven footer, and he make that. Here's the 18th. And on the list of shockers, this tops the list today. Just trying to hit anything down there, put it in position. It's the car path that ends up as you watch the men on the stand start pointing down in just a second. Yep, that's it. That's the ball. It's out of bounds. It would lead to a double bogey, but all in all, still a good round of golf. Three under par, 69. He only dropped that shot in the round on the very last hole, and it was a painful one, resulting in double bogey. But good news, his fourth start here, that's the first time McElroy has had an opening round in the 60s.